Hey everybody, it's Josh Colvin with Duckworks and Smallcraft, and I'm here with Brandon and Joel, and we are going to show you a little bit about uh, assembling the rigging on your Portage pram. So when you have your pram to this stage, or very, very close to this, a little further along maybe, you're going to be ready to rig and launch. Uh, you'll notice in your kit, you're going to see uh, about seven feet or so of this Dyneema, uh, this Amsteel. What you're going to want to do is cut into five one-foot strips here. And take it and fold it over. Just an overhand knot. Pull it tight here. And then we're going to use that to attach our blocks. Joel's going to re-drill the holes here to demonstrate their locations. Uh, you're you're going to have dowel where your dowel marks are on the uh, seats. We're going to drill those right out with a 5 16 bit. And then we're going to put two aft at the knees. For our demonstration today, we're not going to uh, uh, go ahead and epoxy these like you would when you're building it. Obviously, you want to protect that end grain of that plywood, so you're going to want to get in there and make sure everything's uh, coated carefully. But for purposes of demonstration, we're going to go ahead and fix the blocks now. Brandon's just going to slide it up from the bottom. The knot's going to keep it where it's at. Loop it back over itself, over the top of the block. What's nice about that is you've got your block located now, but if you want to remove it and go rowing or you don't want the block uh, jangling around when you're not using it, no problem, just take it off. Simple as that. Obviously, if you're sailing the boat regularly, even if you're rowing the boat, you might just leave these blocks in place and not take them off. They're not really in anybody's way, and uh, they're not adding a bunch of weight. Light, simple, quarter-inch type blocks. So once you've got your blocks affixed, we're ready now to go ahead and we can actually put the, the mast together, sleeve the sail, and we'll pop it into its uh, spot here, and then we'll talk about uh, building the downhaul. All right. It's a two-piece mast. Slides together. You can see with the full battens, it's ready to sail. Now Brandon's going to work on a uh, downhaul setup. The twisted shackle is going to go into this lower grommet here, and that's what's going to give us downhaul tension on the sail. It's real important with a rig like this, it's sort of a windsurfer style rig to have that downhaul tension. You'll see he's hanging off the uh, Beckett block at the top there. This bottom double block is affixed with a carabiner there for a quick release so you can quickly uh, take this off and tear the whole rig down. Obviously this is another part of the rigging process that you wouldn't be doing every time. You're going to do this once, you're going to leave this uh, all set up and hanging off of the sail or in the boat. The 
The line we provided for you in this kit is a uh, Marlow uh, Dyneema cord line here. So this is a real low stretch line. Again, when you get uh, tension on it, there's Brandon applying a bunch of tension. We've changed the shape of the sail a little bit, tightened things up, got rid of some of the wrinkles. He's knotted it there with a little figure eight so it's not going to slip out of its uh, block. And now we're ready to go with the downhaul. I don't know, it just seems good to be true. So normally this block here, which we've added, we've, you'll notice, uh, you can see here, there's a block already lashed on. Uh, this was something that we already did with an earlier rig, so I'm not going to apply the next one here, but obviously you would do the same thing. We would attach it here and have it hanging off. This block stays home, can be right where it is. You could theoretically have some sort of a temporary shackle if you want to remove it, but as you'll see here, this is the initial rigging of this boat. It only gets easier from here. Brandon's going to lead it through this forward block, tie a figure eight in it. This is this double, uh, double-ended, or what do you want to call it? I don't know. Double-ended main, Double yeah. main sheet. It's a great system. I think we're, uh, we're, Brandon came up with this and we've been so excited about it. You'll see why here in a minute. Five total blocks. And now with this uh, double-ended sheet, you can sheet this boat from either side. And you can let that go. On your next tack, you can pull in on this one. Or if you're doing short tacks, you can just hold on to one side, do some short tacks. But if you're on a longer haul, you probably want to get the more comfortable line. See your sheeting angle there, you're getting good in either position. But what Brandon was noting there too is that you're, you're not going to need to have your hand on both, sh both ends of the sheet here. This is just a single side. You can switch sides, but there's no need to be playing both of them. Either sheet, either, either end will do the job. Obviously boomless sails, so there's not much to worry about ducking. And uh, at this point, simple as we've just done there, that's a complete rigging with installation. So we're ready now to take this boat down to the water. We can uh, attach the kick up rudder, slide the dagger board in and we can go sailing. Okay, we're ready to move the portage pram down to the beach. You can see even with the rig in here, it's not a heavy boat. One person could do it alone, but we're going to go ahead and leave the rig up, make it easy on ourselves and uh, do it with two. Your boat uh, without all the extra rigging is going to be somewhere around 35 pounds. So it's a uh, very manageable boat. You'll notice on your supplied tiller, this one has been given some shape here, but in reality, the tiller is pretty long and we, we do it that way on purpose so that you have the option as a builder to decide where you want to cut that length at. What you're going to find is space is tight in the pram when you're sailing. So you're going to either be sitting here with legs forward or possibly even sailing from your knees. Uh, so this tiller might be, uh, might start to bother. We're going to test it today with Brand and he's going to go there. He might say that this tiller is six, eight inches too long. We may end up cutting it back into here. One thing we've noticed that's kind of fun with this boat is that you can sail it and be facing forward. You've got your sheet and you can sometimes use your back to just uh, steer with your back. So there's a lot of options here, but we're going to leave it long for a while, let Brandon play with it, but we may end up cutting it back a little bit. Thanks again for watching our Portage Pram rigging video. Uh, again, my name is Josh Colvin. I'm with Duckworks. If you're interested in this uh, particular boat, you can uh, go to the duckworks.com website to take a look at it. We're here at the beautiful Northwest Maritime Center today. So if you're thinking about uh, you want to build this boat, but maybe you'd like a hand or you need a place to do it, uh, Joel Arrington and the Northwest Maritime Center have a great program going right now called Boat Shop with Benefits, where you can come here, stay for a week or however long you need, build the boat with an expert uh, there to teach you and guide you. Uh, and uh, it's something you can schedule in advance. So it's working out great. We welcome you here for Brandon Davis at Turnpoint Design, Joel Arrington and Northwest Maritime Center. Thanks for watching.